Hi there guys, and this is going to be a video showing you my Hong Kong Legends DVDs. Um, so yeah, it's just another video from my Asian movie collection. So uh, yeah, let's get things started with uh, Hitman, The Drunken Master, that's one of my favourite Kung Fu films, Big Boss, one of my favourite Bruce Lee movies. Uh, it's the only Bruce Lee movie in my movie collection, actually. Uh, Once Upon a Time in China, which I've still yet to see. I know it's part of a trilogy, so... I may complete the trilogy if I like this one. Uh, Iron Monkey, which is good fun. Postman Fights Back, that's early Chow Yun Fat film. Um, Beast Cops, Hong Kong 1941. The very entertaining Police Story 1 and 2. Really enjoy those films. Uh, Naked Killer, there's also a Naked Killer Part 2, released by another label in the UK, but it's cut to bits, so I've avoided that one. Um, this ain't a very good film any anyway, actually. It's okay, it's not great. Um, Zoo Warriors, Police Assassins, which I've yet to see, that's a new one actually uh, for me. Uh, Story of Ricky, probably Hong Kong's goriest film. Uh, Flaming Brothers. Dragon from Russia, which is probably probably my least favourite of the Hong Kong Legends movies from that from what I've seen. Yeah, I thought it was just uh, just very average. Bullet in the Head, probably their best film. Uh, brilliant John Woo film. Uh, the Killer, great. Tiger on the Beat, Avenging Fist, Full Contact, City on Fire, Soul Raiders, A Better Tomorrow Part Two. Hand of Death, Last to Rafa Chivalry, Hero Shed No Tears, and Prison on Fire 1 and 2. So that's it. I think it's around, uh, around 28 out of the 101 uh, releases that Hong Kong Legends did. But to be honest, I'm not really a fan of Kung Fu films. Uh, the majority of these are either Chai on Fat movies, who I'm a big fan of, and John Woo, who I'm also a fan of. But I've been picking up more and more of these Hong Kong Legends releases recently from second hand stores. You can get them for good prices now in second hand stores, but online they're pretty sought after, so their prices have skyrocketed. Like, um, A Better Tomorrow Part 2 and Hero Shed No Tears. People pay up to £20 for those on Amazon UK, I haven't seen recently, so... They're good investments, but they're really good films, the ones I've uh, amassed so far, I think. Well, with the exception of a few. So, yeah, that's it for now, so thanks for watching, and, yeah, I'll see you soon.